Uh, Team USA, obviously the, the roster is stacked, but they seem to be picking up steam as the tournament goes on here. I love the chemistry. I've been watching this guy very close. I know pretty much all of them. I have a conversation with, with my boy Mookie Bet the other day, and I was like, man, you guys look like you are, you are, you guys are having some really good fun. You guys have a hitting coach out there who is very familiar, who all of us grow up as in being his number one fan, who is Ken Griffin Jr. Talk to me about the environment. He's like, Papi, look, man, this ball club right here is for us to learn, to take it back to our own ball club and share it around with the rest of the squad because you have so many superstars right here. Everybody's so humble. Everybody is working extremely hard, not just for the WBC, to get prepared for the season. And when you combine all the hard work together, this is what we get. Yeah, I, I agree with Poppy. Look, Mark DeRosa did a fantastic job putting this coaching staff together between Griffey, Andy Pettit, Michael Young. But I got to go to the ninth hitter, Trey Turner. I mean, this guy is a superstar with a capital S. He just signed a $300 million contract. He has four home runs. Biggest home run of his life, the Grand Salami 0-2 to beat ah. Cuba and then did it again last night. This is awesome, and I like the diversity in their attack. And I'll tell you what, for the first time in a long time, talking to a lot of those players over there, they're really enjoying representing the U.S., being in this moment, not hoping they're somewhere else. They're in the moment, and they're playing great baseball. You know, the one thing that I find interesting, and I'm curious to talk to you guys, because like you, I think it's evident when you watch this tournament, the fervor of the Latin countries, it's electric, right? And that's what they always say about winter ball that we in America, we don't get to see. I feel like as the tournament's gone on, the American players have gotten into that and shown their emotion, and they've kind of felt the energy. Do you agree on that, Pop? I absolutely agree on that. And I go back to what you say before. MLB, I killed it with this tournament. This tournament is like the reunion of family that haven't seen each other for the past couple of years. I mean, when you look at the American, the Japanese, the Latinos, I mean, it, 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 the environment, the energy in this building is different than any other game. Now, I can't even compare the World Series to the energy that is going around this building. Well, I right mean, here. it's a lot like the World Cup. I mean, let's just put this yeah. in perspective a little bit. Korea played Japan last week. There was almost 70 million people watching. Now, to put that into context a little bit, the most watched World Series in the history of baseball is 1980 when the Phillies defeated the Royals with 54 million people. This is a massive event, Major League Baseball. Kudos to you. Let's do Keep it every going. year. Come on, Rob Manfred. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I'm in. Awesome. You guys are in. I'm in. All I know is we have a great matchup tomorrow night.